has been putting on this original play festival for approximately five years. Grill Theater has been in existence for 12. Uh, this year we've been fortunate enough to be partially funded from a grant from the Missouri Arts Council. And we do, we have plays submitted to Grill Theater from all over the country. And then we select the winners, top three plays, and tour them around the different coffee houses in Kansas City, different coffee house and a different play every night. Uh, this year, the winners were To Die for One's Lobster by Cato McNipple from uh, Connecticut and BYOB Tom Lavagino from California and The Ritual by David Hansen, who is from Kansas City. Uh, tonight's performance will be to die for one lobster. <laughs> hey, I'm Brian Colley and I directed the piece. I'll be doing the narration. I'll be playing Jack. And I'm Jennifer Bogo <laughs> and I'll be playing Lena. <laughs> I'm Sally Crawford and I'll be playing Barbara. <laughs> die for one lobster. Act one, scene one. At Rise, living room area of a modest house, about 1.30 a.m. A sparse set consisting of an oriental rug, futon couch, small coffee table, and several good-sized bookcases full of books. A staircase near the back, exterior door up left, another door that leads to the kitchen down left, and a short hallway that goes to the bathroom up right. wanted to do that all night. <laughs> What's wrong? Your parents home? Roommate. You know. Got it. A divorce. This is where I'm living right now. I see. Well? Well, what? May I sit down? Oh yeah, please. Uh, if you want to sit, you want something to drink. How about some wine? Um, beer or a diet soda, maybe a wine cooler. Wine cooler. Here you go. Do you have a glass? Oh, oh right, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh, and this is a twist off. One second. Oh, oh, geez. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I just cleaned up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's just a. Is this yours? <laughs> no, I, I don't read books. Hope it doesn't belong to your wife. Come here. Calmer now? No. <laughs> I like your seat. Where's your bedroom? Oh, uh, you're sitting on it. The couch? It's a bed. It, it, it's the couch. You have a fold away bed. It's a futon. It's just temporary. Well, temporary is my whole way of life. It'll only take a second. It really is temporary until the divorce. So, your wife makes you sleep with your girlfriends on the couch? Of course. <laughs> ah! Ow! What? My finger stuck in the slack. Can you uh, lift it? Right here? Uh, yes, just pull it up. Does it hurt, Jack? Yeah, a little. <laughs> it's right the other side. I pull it inside. You can get my hand out without ripping my finger the off. The pain is just a state of mind, Jack. Do you trust me? I trust you. 
It's an easy question. Just help me out of here, please. I like it when you beg, Jim. <laughs> Thanks. Now you want to help me take take that side. Just don't make too much noise. Wake up your roommate. Yeah. Do you want me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Very much. You're saying yes doesn't really mean no, does it? Not for a second. Can't be too careful, don't want anyone else pressing charges. Charges? I'm joking. Oh. Jack, is that you? I heard some noise. Are well, you alright? I'm fine. A little trouble with the food time. Just go back to bed. Oh, oh. Christ. Jack, who is that? Is that a woman? Did you bring a woman into my house? Barbara, calm down. This is too weird. What are you having? What are you? Not yet. You think you know, guys? On oh, my futon? Jack, where's my coat? Jack, how could you? What's the big deal? You know, I was kidding when I asked if your wife was upstairs. Very funny. Jack, where is her coat? She doesn't need her coat. Don't need your I coat. would really just like to go. Why do you have to go? Jack? Jack! No, really, I'm a grown man, I can have dates. Look, Jack, I do not believe this woman is your mother. Am I really, and I'm really not in the mood for a threesome tonight? Not without my wife. Oh, God, is this the kind of woman you want to bring home? Maybe. Absolutely. I do not want you bringing strange women into our house. Like you're not strange? Jack, I need my coat. I don't think you wore a coat. You know what? I wonder how strange she is. Look, my keys are in my coat, so if you'll just help me find it, I can go. You didn't wear one in. And it's in the car. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, whoever you are. Barbara. Yeah, I hope you soak him for everything he's got. That's just great. That's just great. I told you I don't want you bringing straight women home. You're such a prude. You are such a jerk. Me. I can't believe you just embarrassed me in front of some strange woman. Stop calling her strange. She is not strange. Not very. My goddamn car is goddamn locked with my goddamn keys and my coat pocket on the goddamn front seat. God damn it. Why don't you just stay here? We can figure something out in the morning. I'm going to use your goddamn phone. Goddamn phone. She can't stay here. Come on. She might be stuck. She cannot stay here. Where's your compassion? She can stay in the guest room. No. I can stay down here. Yeah, right. No one's around yet. Guess they're all still out. My room, I won't answer the phone anyway. It's early. It's very late. Stay here. There's a guest room. Jack! No. What will you do? I don't know. Couldn't you call someone else? I don't know anyone else. I'll just go. No, Barbara. All right. The guest room. Alone. Yeah. What the hell? We haven't been introduced. I'm Lena. Barbara. I'll get you something to sleep in. No, don't. I'll be right back. You are a real piece of work. Know that? Me? I got you a place to sleep. I can't believe I locked the keys in the car. This is some night. How could you bring me here? I live here. Yeah, with her. Oh, she's pretty uptight. That's why I don't want to, didn't want to wake her up. You're so compassionate, Jack. I'm young. I'm practically divorced. Not nearly practically enough. I have to admit a minor setback. Don't throw the baby out of the bathwater. If Barbara had any smarts, she'd throw the baby out right now. I met a beautiful woman and I brought her home. What's wrong with that? You think I'm beautiful? That. Sometimes. <laughs> right now. You're a dangerous man. <clears throat> Your wife is coming. Oh, my wife. That's funny. Here you go. I don't think I can wear this. Don't worry. I sleep in it all the time. So, where's this guest room? I'll take you. I'll take her. It's upstairs. Where on earth did he find you? Mom brought him home from the hospital. Oh my god, he's your brother? You're kidding about the wife thing, right? Wife well, up? Never mind. Sorry, I was rude. Jack is just. He can be such. I told him, don't bring. So what? So, so. So, you like to read. What? Yes. That's interesting. Interesting? I I'm not really interesting. Not you. Books. I like to read. 
I like to read people. I think books are better than people. You can never know a real person as deeply as you know a person in a book. Maybe you just don't know the right people. I like to watch. <coughs> I like to watch people. That's what I like about working at the casino. I'm a dealer of blackjack. That's how I met Jack. He sat down at my table. Pretty lucky, huh? Lucky, lovely, Lena. I like to see how far a guy will go. How much he will risk. And what does he do if he loses or wins? Most lose. You can see it coming. Are you? Am I what? Right. Oh yeah, most of the time, yeah. It's, it's harder with women, though. It's, it's harder to tell, more of a challenge. Blackjack, it's not like slots or, or roulette. It's not set up against you the way lots of other games are. You've got a decent chance. I like to look at a guy and try to guess before he even sits down how much he's got and how far he'll go. I like to see if I'm right. What do you do? For a living. Mm -hmm. I teach second grade. Jack thinks it's warped my mind or depleted my social skills or something. Has it? No. Yes. <laughs> Barbara. I knew a girl once in junior high named Barbara. She used to play with her watch. I never really liked her. Might I call you Bobby instead? Uh, yeah, okay. Your friends will be able to help you in the morning, right? Come morning, you will never have to see me again. Scene two, living room, next day. Jack enters through the front door carrying several boxes. He sets them down and turns and exits through the back to the front door. When Lena carries, enters carrying several more. Jack takes them from her and puts them down as well. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Uh, I don't know what I would have done without you. It's too bad about your roommate. People like that, sometimes they have it coming. I mean, I hate to say that about someone I was friends with. Well, sort of friends. But drugs, you know? Thanks for helping me with my stuff. It was pretty, pretty intense. You liked that, didn't you? I wouldn't want to do it every day, but yeah. It's, it's are like you a movie or something. Are you sure your sister will go along with all this? Oh yeah, she she talks stuff, but she's got a heart of gold. You've been mining that gold for a while. I just wanted to make sure there was some left. How long will you need a place to stay? A few days until I can get another place. Oh, that's a problem. Besides, in a few minutes, you'll have all your stuff here. Jack, what's going on? Are you moving now? Oh, yeah, Barbara. This doesn't make any sense. Where are you going? Is this because of last night? Kind of. I, I gotta talk to you about something. I'm sorry, okay? Maybe I overreacted. Maybe. It was just a surprise. I didn't know you were in that woman. That strange, strange woman. She's not your type at all. Hey, Bobby, thanks a lot. I, I don't know what I would have done if it wasn't for you. You got your car? Oh, yeah. Good. Are you two moving in together? Kind of. Jack, you don't even know her. I mean, yeah, I want you to move eventually, but don't go running into something like this. It's too soon. You're right. So, go bring your stuff back, I guess. All right, okay. Uh, where can I hang these? Oh, in the upstairs closet. Thanks again for letting me do this. I think that's everything. Whose stuff is this? This isn't yours. What are you doing? Well, I, um, see. Don't. Don't even. Oh, God, Jack. Do you realize? <laughs> no way. No way, Jack. She cannot stay here. She's not moving in here. Just listen for a minute. You are not going to move your girlfriend here. Just met last night in our house. You gotta hear what happened first. I don't care what happened. Listen. I am not listening. I saw her roommate. I don't care if you saw God. No way, no way, Jack. She was dead. Totally dead. What? Like, totally. Stiff. So I'll oh, oh. You don't get it. She OD'd. Jack, what have you gotten yourself into? Look, this way she won't be put on the suspect list. I thought you said the roommate OD'd. She did. Then why is there a suspect list? Because it was illegal drugs, duh. What do you think this is? We live in Connecticut. People don't get brave for drugs. Duh. Well, what do you know about it? About you, no. You weren't there. Lena, I'm afraid Jack's made a slight error. No, wait. Let me change that. A big error. Barbara, listen. This is not some stray dog you found in the street. She has no place else to go. She can call the same friend she called last night. She hasn't lived here very long. She hardly knows them. And you've known her, what, 12 hours now? We 
maybe it's just because I'm such a nice guy. Maybe it's because you're an idiot. I'm trying to be a humanitarian. You're trying to sleep with her. No. Maybe. That's not the point. <laughs> you are so transparent. And so is she. She's using you, Jack. No, because you are completely wrong about this. Right. So, she can stay? How long? Until she can find a place? That's what you said when you were here eight months ago. <laughs> Just a couple of days. Maybe a week. Two, Two weeks. Two weeks tops. At most three. Two weeks. Our cold sister. I knew you wouldn't let me down. She can use the guest room. You'll have to move your clothes into the sewing room closet. No problem. You still sleep down here, got it? I'll sleep downstairs. I mean you don't use the guest bed at all, got it? What do you mean? I mean you sleep down here or you go somewhere else. That simple. You are some kind of uptight. You know that? If you ever have sex here? Don't change the subject. I'm not changing the subject. Or was I incorrect in assuming you were talking about sex? I mean, you didn't say it, you didn't actually use the word sex, but that's what we're talking about, right? Stop being so childish. Me? At least I'm grown up to just say sex, 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 sex. <laughs> a four-year-old can rattle it off like that, too. How about you, teacher? I am not playing the silly game to get me off track. Because you chicken. Sex, 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 sex. Stop it. <laughs> say it. Sex, 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 sex. All right. All right. Sex. And for your information, I had sex, okay? I went to college. Well, don't use my towel. Look, I clean up after you. I cook, I wash your towels. But if you ever use my clean towel again, I will kill you. I got all mildew. That's because you left it on the floor and I didn't clean it up after you for once. I couldn't reach another one. I didn't use it till after I got out of the shower. I was clean. You have no idea what you smell like. And I don't want your smell all over my towel. You smell like soap. Your soap. Why don't you buy your own damn soap? <laughs> fine, I'll buy my own damn soap. And use your own damn towel. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> you didn't realize you're going to make some issue out of it. Me? You're the one who used my towel. I won't do it again. <laughs> I have to help get this stuff upstairs. You're going to have to pay for two thirds of food. All right, all right, whatever. And I'm not cooking for your girlfriend. I'll cook. And you better not make a mess. I won't. And you better clean up after yourself. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what you said. That's what you always say. But this time you better do it. You hear me, Jack? You better do it. I will. I'm going to the library. I gotta return this book. I'll be back in a little while. I mean it, Jack. Pretty serious about your library card. Funny. Jeez, lighten up. My sister, the old maid, never gets laid, but she keeps all of her bills paid. Is she gone? She went to the locker. <coughs> Thanks again for letting me stay here. Hey, Tom. I have wanted you all morning. And I want you to know exactly how much I appreciate this. Appreciate some more. First, I want to get settled. I'll take these upstairs. Why don't you go make us some lunch? Scene three, the living room, two weeks later. Barbara's surrounded by books piled up around her. She is sorting through them, removing them from the shelves, pulling them about the floor. A few on the top of the piles are opened up, and she scans some of them as she sorts. Barbara sits down amongst her books, which obscure her. Lena enters from upstairs, wearing a swimsuit and shorts. Bobby, you in here? Uh-huh. What's you doing in here? It's a beautiful day. Sorting. Well, we're going to the beach. You want to? Too hot. That's why we're going to the beach. Well, don't lose my page. Were you reading this one? Sort of. You get out much? I go out. Must be fun getting a whole summer off every year. I get things done. Let's see. Yesterday I didn't see you. Brought these books out from the study. The day before that I didn't see you. Organizing the study. Mm -hmm. The day before that and the day before that. Same. Same. Last week? Where were you last week? The books in the basement. Books in the basement. So it's the books and not you trying to avoid me. It's summer. This is what I do every summer. Exactly. I have to be careful with the ones I keep in the basement because of the humidity. The pages might grow. They might. Why don't you just come out 
to say it, Bobby. I didn't say it. You've been saying it loud and clear the past two weeks. I haven't said it. I'm saying, say it. All right. I'll tell you. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I'm just going to say it. There. Bobby, you didn't say anything. I'm being polite. Well, I'm not, so I'll say it. Please let me finish. It's no secret you don't want me here, and it's no secret you don't like me seeing your brother. It's just that he's not ready to. And that's okay, you know, I get it. You're worried about him, you're his older sister, and you're looking out for him. He's going to a divorce. He's lost his job. He's very vulnerable. And on top of that, there's me. Some refugee who needed a place to stay for a little while, who hit it off with your brother, who's taking him away from you. You're not taking him away from me. Jack can do whatever he wants. He's a nice guy, you know? He's a really nice guy, and I can't remember the last time I hit it off with a really nice guy. It's fun, and it's summer, and I want it to last, and here we are inside this house. It's a big house. You sure got a lot of books? I'm putting them in order. Have you read all of these? Uh-huh. That's a lot of lost speech time. <laughs> I really can't get off. Well, suit yourself. Because I burn. I burn too easily. Just thought you might have some fun. It is hot. Very hot. The beach might be nice. Only one way to find out. Okay, I'll go. No, no, wait, I can't go. Why? I, I can't. You know, I thought it was a professor. He had a, a lot of books. She piles them up with the largest on the bottom. She takes more and more books, creating a deliberate shape with them as she speaks. He was an English professor. I used to go into his den when he wasn't there and take the books down off the shelf, and I'd pile them up. What are you doing? i take the biggest ones down first, and that would be my foundation. The biggest ones always make the best foundation. I was putting those in order. Rich, thick, leather-bound volumes, Dickens and Shakespeare. We're always good for that. I want them in order by category. I love books with gold edges, don't you? You're not really helping. I'd stack the smaller volumes on top, and after a while, I'd have a castle built all around me. I'd leave an opening for the door, and sometimes I'd throw a sheet over the top and hide away in the secret board of mine, surrounded by words and thoughts and old hidden ink, like a cocoon. They're not boys. But they sure do make a nice wall. Don't you agree? I was just trying to get something done for a change around here, that's all. You can bring a book to the beach. I, I, I don't think I can go. Bring a book. It's not that. Jack? No, no, not Jack. Bobby, I can't do anything if you don't tell me. I don't have, it's, I mean, look at you, that's really nice, and, and I don't, and, are you worried about how you look? No, not that. It's because... You look fine. No. Yes. No, not how I look. Then what is it? I don't have a swimsuit. Mine's really old. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Scene four, the beach, one hour later. Jack is on the beach, seated on a towel, wearing a swimsuit. Barbara enters, carrying a canvas bag in which she produces a large towel. She wears a large hat, sunglasses, oversized white shirt, and long shorts. <coughs> you traveling incognito? Thanks for waiting. You should have tried moving a little faster. Where's Leah? She's swimming. How come you're on the beach? She told me to help you. Thanks for the help. So if you don't need me anymore, I think I'll go for a swim. <coughs> oh, you're back. I was just going to join you. The water's great. Bobby, you want to come? Well, that's all set. Well, come on. I, I want to go cool off. You go. I'll stay with Bobby. You should take that shirt off if you want to get some color. I'll burn. <gasps> Sunscreen. Here, chat, why don't you help? Holy crap, Barb, where'd you get that thing? I told you this was stupid. Jack, don't listen to that. We'll just get some sunscreen on your shoulders. I'll get this side, Jack, you get that side. I 
Okay, I think I have enough sunscreen. Well, what about your front? I can do the front. I want to go for a swim. So go. I want to go for a swim with you. But I'm just drying off. Well, what about swimming? I'll get wet again after I dry. Well, that doesn't make any sense. That's the way it's done. Who? Who does that? I don't do that. Bobby, do you do that? Don't call me Bobby. Do you do that? Is that a normal thing? Do you dry off first and then swim? I don't like to swim in the ocean. Oh, you're no help whatsoever. Why don't you go cool off, Jack? Why? Because you're blocking my son. I'm not. Fine, fine. He really gets upset over the littlest things, little annoying things. He died for watching the lobster. Well, lobster. You're missing the point. I'm not missing it. Didn't you know, sometimes lobster is worth dying for. I don't think so. You would, if you really wanted the lobster. I'm gonna go for a swing. There's a story that in France, King Louis XIV, he killed himself over it. What? He killed himself over not having lobster for the sauce. The cook kind. Scene five, a grocery store. A brief suggestion of an item. Barbara enters pushing a cart half filled with items. She stops at one of the items on the shelf and begins reading the information on the back of the box. Jack enters from behind Barbara. Look, I found a card. Really, Jack? An anniversary card? It's been almost a month. It's not a serious card, it's a funny one. Did you even read it? I'm trying, Chuck. Aren't you almost done? No, I can go faster if you stop pestering me. So what's taking you so long? This is how I always shop. I thought we needed this. Not that one. What's wrong with that? How about this one? No, no coupon. Oh, for crying. Just get this one. Who didn't even read the label? I don't have to read the label if I know that's the one I want. I have to look at the ounces and the prices and check the ingredients and see if there's a coupon. You shop like it's a research project. You shop like a drunken sailor. So which one of you, which one of us do you think has more fun? An anniversary card. So when do you two move in together? We live together now. When do you move out of my house? I thought it was only going to be a couple weeks. Or three. It's been four. I'm just counting. We're family. I'm still looking for a job. You can't expect me to support you. You can't expect Lena to support me. You expect me to support you, Bobby. Don't call me that. You let Lena call you Bobby. Why can't I? It sort of suits you. Imagine if you have been called Bobby all your life instead of Barbara. That's the sort of thing that can change your destiny. A new name? That's what. But Bobby Taylor. Who knows what you could do now? With a name like that, you could be an astronaut or, or climb a mountain or host a morning talk show. You could be famous with a name like that. It'll change your destiny. I don't want to change my destiny. You're going to get old and everybody's just going to call you Miss Taylor. Oh, Miss Taylor, that's what. You call me Miss Taylor now. Maybe I should change my name too. I'm not changing my name. Something like Buster or Cowboy. I am not calling you Cowboy. Maybe I'll ask Lena what she thinks. Yes, ask Lena. What? Nothing. No, something. It was nothing. You see, you do that. You do that all the time. You pick it, you pick it, you pick This is not the time or the place. You actually, this guy's no, it is not the time. If you pick, hell, any time's good for that. Now keep your voice down. Don't shush me. I'm a grown man. You act like a baby. We have to get the shopping back. So who's this guy you see? Let's not talk about my crying shop. What's he like? I don't know. We really haven't gotten to know each other yet. But you'll get to know him better soon, right? Yes, of course. That's the point. I'll get to know him. You're going out Friday, maybe? Well, have a house to yourself Friday night. Is that what you wanted to know? Just because it's our anniversary. Let's be shocked. Scene six, the bathroom. Lena's in the tub bathing. There's a comfortable chair behind the door of the bathroom with a book of poetry placed on it. Bobby? Bobby, is that you? What? Could you come in here for a minute? Oh. Are you alright? I'm fine. Why is there a chair in the bathroom? So you could be more comfortable. I'm quite comfortable. I thought we could sit and talk. Right now? Sit. Just move the book. Do you like poetry? Yes. So, well, good You book. have the perfect voice for it. Poetry always sounds much better aloud than read silently. Why don't you read something? The book in your hand. Oh, this is my book. Collected classic poems. I hope you don't mind that I borrowed it. Not at all. That's what they're for. Reading. I do read now. I never meant. So choose. 
A poem. Pick one. Oh. I can't begin to pick one. There are so many. Anything will do except a limerick. I hate limericks. There are no limericks in this one. Well, then you can't lose. Did you know that uh, I was married? No. I was <laughs> to a Greek. I met him here, but he had to go to Greece for a while. The Isle of Rhodes. Uh, family business, you know. He lived in his cousin's house. I used to take baths there. Long baths in the afternoon. It was so hot in the summer. I had a great tan. The thing about Greece, everyone is family. It's hard to describe if you haven't been there, but if you're family, then you're included. Everyone takes you in with these big open arms, and they feed you, and you have a place to stay. It's so close. It's something we don't have here. At least I've never had. Why did you ever leave? Hmm? Oh, Martin died. He died. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, those things happen. He lived a dangerous life sometimes. What happened? He got shot. Uh, family business. Oh, and you couldn't stay? Well, I could have, but that would be boring. I'd have to wear a black dress for the rest of my life, and I'm too young to be a little old Greek, maybe. Besides, I don't speak Greek. Do you like Greek men? I don't think I know it. <laughs> no? Too bad. You are really missing out. I've had a lot of relationships, a lot of men. Everything always happens so fast. I can't seem to get to the settled down and comfortable part. I feel like if I don't keep going full speed, that something bad is going to catch up with me. I can't stop. Do you want to? Like you? I don't know about that. You've got this life that you've got mapped out Thought it. You've got a house, an education, and a career. I'm a little jealous of that. You're jealous of me? <laughs> Why not? Because. You're... You're so much different than your brother. I'm just boring. <laughs> but that's what's so exciting. Have you found it yet? Found? Found, found what? <laughs> a poem. Have you found one? I forgot to look. But it was... <laughs> Did I come to her knocking? Oh, sorry. I thought Lena was in here. I am. Why is there a chair in the bathroom? Because I was sitting here. Oh, I see. <laughs> what do you want, Jack? I don't remember now. Come back when you do remember. It was... I'll come back. <laughs> Can you give me that towel? I remember! Tequila. You want me to pick up some tequila? Whatever, Jack. I can get something else. Tequila's fine. All right, we do, Bob. I don't like tequila. Tequila it is. Grab that soda. Well, <laughs> I need one third of the money from you. But I don't drink tequila. Don't get so bent. Does anyone want anything not, else? I'm not getting bent. No. You sure? I can give you a few minutes to think. I was not bent. We've thought about it and we're fine. Okay then. We're bent. Uh, do we have lemon? Check the refrigerator. I'm sure you know where that is. That's bent. Are you afraid you're going to miss something? What's that supposed to mean? Just get out! <laughs> ha! Do you shoot? Guns? Cool. Yes, guns. Not real ones. You should try it. It's an incredible feeling. You're really in control. They're so dangerous. Yeah. I'll take you to the range sometime. Every woman should try it. I've never been... I mean, how do you... Don't think so much. I, I think... Don't think. Don't think? What do you think would happen if you weren't thinking? I don't know. Nothing, I guess. Don't think. I can't. <laughs> oh, you should try it sometime. Just stop thinking. Go on instinct. Yeah. Try it tonight. Tonight? Don't you have a date tonight? Oh, oh big date. Dinner and a movie. I should go get ready. Wear something foolish. I don't think I have that in my closet. Throw something in mine. Anything you want. You need it? And we'll do your hair. Well, I'll go see if anything fits. We're just about the same size. Maybe we can ask for sisters. I don't know about that. Bobby, thanks for letting me stay. I know I've been here longer than you wanted. That's all right. Oh, don't forget the book. You still owe me a poem. I'll find you one, a good one. First, we'll find you something to wear. You've got a date, don't forget. Yeah, I've got a date. Scene seven, preliminary that evening. Jack is for 
preparing for a romantic evening. He places an envelope containing a greeting card and a rose on the table alongside a bottle of tequila. He takes a good helping of the liquid. He sits in front on the futon, strumming his guitar. Lena enters. I wrote something for you. Look, Jack. Where the rivers in there flowing and the mountains touch the sky, there's a warm breeze blowing and a love that will never die. Far away for today, just to say I love you. Jack. Not done, not done, not done. When the sun sets before me and the stars shine in your hair with the rainbow and the moonbeams, you know that I wait there. Jack! Far away! Listen to me! I was singing. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let me sing it for you. Where's your sister gone? <laughs> For that guy she's been seeing. Look, Jack, I'm bored. I got tequila. I thought that since we had a house. I'm really bored. I'm gonna go out. Okay, yeah. Cool. We'll go out. No, you can do whatever. I'm going out with me. Oh, alright. I got your card. Another card. All right. And the rose. It's sweet. And the rose. That's sweet too. And the song. Let me finish the song. I wrote it for you. I know. It's all very, very sweet. It was cute a month ago. It really was. But now it's old and I'm bored, Jack. What are you saying? I'm going out. Can I come? No, it's really nice, Jack, but it's kind of over. No. It doesn't have to be over. Get a divorce, Jack. Get a job and get an apartment or something. Where are you going to go? What? Uh, you move out. <laughs> I live here. I have a room upstairs. You're the one sleeping on the couch. You're the one that's going to move. No, no, this is my sister's house. She's my sister. We'll just see who she wants to stay. <laughs> me! Me! I'm her brother. She loves me. She loves me. Bobby. You love me, don't you? I hate you! <laughs> tequila. You don't like tequila. Oh. No, no, I don't. Why didn't you tell me it was tequila? Here's a lemon. Don't call me Bobby. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. Lena hates me. No, she doesn't. She does. She was leaving. She's not leaving. She was right then. I'm leaving. You're leaving? She's bored. She's going to go out. We don't want her to leave, right? That's all right. That's that's why she said I have to leave. Do you want to leave? No, but she said you wanted me to leave. She lives here now. We all live here now. That's what I thought. <laughs> Nobody has to leave. Nobody has to leave. Drink? Drink. <laughs> Where is Lena? Upstairs, getting ready to go out. She's going out? I thought we'd have the place to ourselves. Where? Out? You were out on the date. What happened to your date? Oh, that I... These clothes, they're Nina's. They, they smell like Nina. What does that have to do with it? They smell like smoke now. I went to a bar. But they smell like Nina. Can you smell her? <laughs> Why were you in a bar? I thought you were going to a dinner and a movie. I, I didn't want to go eat alone. Well, what about your date? There wasn't any date. What happened? Nothing happened. Well, what kind of boyfriend is this? Just forget it. Well, this guy's a real jerk. That's what he is. What's his phone number? Jack, who? No, I'm going to call him. Well, who does he think he is? Thinks he can do that to my sister? What's his number? Just don't. It, it doesn't matter. I'll call him. He can't just... S stop! It's no one, okay? It's no one. There's no one. He's not worth it. I'm not worth it. He's not saying this. He's serious about it. There's no one to call. Barbara, I'll call him, you know. But there's, just forget about it. There's no one to call. What do you mean? Why doesn't anyone love me, Jack? People love you. No. No, I am completely unlovable. Someone's got to love you. Don't your students love you? 
I love you. That's got to count for something. And, and Lena, I'll bet if you asked her, maybe she would. She loves you more than she loves me, probably. And if this loser boyfriend of yours, but if he can't see how special there you are, then... There is no boyfriend. He's not someone to be serious about. There is no boyfriend, okay? I made him up. How pathetic is that? Why would you? Because... I don't know. I just did. That's all. And then I'm here, and Lena's letting me clothes, her clothes, to see this guy, and I just... <laughs> they smell like her, you know? This glove smells like her. It does smell like her. I, I just... I just don't know, Jack. Me too. You smell so nice. <laughs> Careful, that'll leave a mark. What are you two drinking? Oh, come on, you guys have to be drinking. Going out now. You tell me. It might be more fun to stay in. What are you two drinking? Tequila. You two want to drink with me? I'll drink. Bobby? You want to drink? Thank you. 
I saw your uh, your flyer at Rob. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, gave it to the high school. I put him up to the high school teacher. Awesome. So, well, you you yeah, I copied from the. Actually, I just photocopied the email. Oh, okay. Just to give me information.
So he got close. He starts to whisper things in my ear. I can feel his breath making my hair stick to my neck. But the gun. He let the gun down, so I grabbed it. I grabbed it and he pulled it back and I shoved it and the gun fired. Bang! I looked in his eyes. His eyes were big and they were looking at me and he slipped down my side onto the ground. I had the gun and he was on the ground and he was dead. So I wiped the gun off with his jacket and I stuck it back in his hand and I took his wallet, the jerk. <laughs> it was one of the most important moments of my life. You killed him. You say it like it was a bad thing. Tell you one thing, he never tried that again. People screw around with you, life's too short. Some people deserve to die. The users and takers of the world could all just die. I don't think I could ever kill anyone. Why not? They'd probably just as soon shoot you. Anyway, shooting is just one option. Maybe you just want to scare somebody, make a point. When you've got the gun, all bets are off. Let's shoot one together. What? Come on, I'll stand behind you and we'll shoot it together. Let's try it. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? I couldn't help it. I wasn't shooting like sex. Why do you keep saying that? Oh, come on. It's long and metal and shooting and solid. Uh, symbolically, maybe. <laughs> Didn't you feel the concussion in your arms? Didn't it move all through you and through me all at the same time? Wasn't it just a moment of intervening? I thought we were just shooting. We have got to get you a gun. You'll understand once you have one of your own. Well, it might be nice if I should ever feel like I might need to defend myself. I am a little bit alone. At least if my brother ever needs help. He should move. He's been sponging long enough. You can't trust him, not anymore. Would you move with him? Me? I don't think we're ready to live together. Don't you live together now? I live with you. Jack just happens to live there also. Oh. You're the one who said I could stay with you, remember? Not Jack. That's true. See, that's just another one of Jack's tricks, how he keeps you in mind. He's the one who makes you think that you don't have any choices, but you do. You're a powerful woman, Bobby. Don't let him take that away from you. Cheat you out of it. He just walks all over That's you. right, and he'll keep walking all over you until you put your butt down. Show him who's boss. I can be boss. That's right. I like you like this. Assertive. You seem taller. Do I? Yes. It's very attractive. Is it? I can't take my eyes off of you. No. No. Scene two, the living room. Jack is on the couch, playing his guitar. Lena enters barefoot and crosses to him. She touches his foot with her own. He moves his foot ignoring her. She sits on the couch beside him. He moves forward on the couch. She moves close to him and speaks. You want to play a game? What kind of game? A dangerous game. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what to do. Not like that. I gotta do something. Think about it later. I'm 37 years old. 30 years old and I don't know what I'm doing. Do something for me. I used to want to do things. This is boring. I used to want to play guitar, be a musician, write songs. Musicians are fun. I was in a band, did you know that? In high school, we played a couple dances. Musicians are dangerous, unpredictable. Oh, I was pretty good at it. Musicians can drink. They do a lot of dangerous things. I can still play. Ever do heroin? Of course not. Ever want to? Uh, no. Weren't you, um, some kind of bad boy in high school? Come on, a musician in a band? Maybe some partying. Maybe a little. Beer and pop? Mostly. Enough to screw up my grades. Let's do something dangerous, Jack. Like what? Let's put that down. Let's pretend. Pretend what? Pretend... I'm your sister. Nina, stop. Hey, but you two are so beautiful together. I don't want to. I can't stop thinking about it. Let's see, go. Put your hands on my throat. 
Let me go. It's what you want. I want to go. You can strangle the life out of me, Jack. Put your hands here. Feel it soft and strong hands like yours. Just squeeze, just for a moment. Stop my breath. You can stop me, Jack. These powerful hands. You can stop me. Just squeeze. Just a little squeeze and call me Barbara. Stop it, Lena. Barbara, Barbara. You want your life, you'll have to do better than that. Barbara. <laughs> Don't talk about my sister. <laughs> that was good. I want to do something with my life. And be a man, Jack. Scene three. There's a package on the coffee table tied up with a ribbon. Barbara enters with Lena behind, and Lena's hands are covering Barbara's eyes. No, Kiki. I'm not. Okay. You can look back. Happy birthday or end of the summer or whatever. Wow. <laughs> it's all yours. I wanted to surprise you, so I picked it up. You'll be safe now. I just never thought of myself as the kind of person who would own a gun. What should I do with it? You can keep it in your room. I keep mine in the drawer next to my bed. You sure that'll be all right? And of course you'll need some accessories. Oh, let's <laughs> oh, you think of everything. I know. We can go shoot later, so you can try it out. Can we go now? Let me go change. Hey, nobody told me we were having a party. We're, we're not. What's that? Well, don't get bent. Is that my towel? Not your clean one. That's one of my towels. I got it out of the hamper. I'll wash it. What did you do with it? I didn't wash my car. Not with my towel. What's the deal? I can't breathe around here without you jumping down my throat. The lawnmower will start. So? You need to start the lawnmower. Not right this minute. I ask you to do one single thing. Can you do it? No. No. You can't be bothered. I've got to do everything around here. I was washing my car. If anything important gets done at all, it's because I do it. Oh, you're as bad as my wife. You I am it. not your no. wife. Yeah, but you're a fuck like her. I've got a headache. I want you out of here. This is my bedroom, remember? This is my house. I want you out of my house. What are you talking about? I live here too. Just start packing. Lena is absolutely right. What? What about her? She, she's my girlfriend, remember? Are you just going to kick us both out? Lena can stay. Oh. I see how it is. She's not your girlfriend. Not anymore. Well, she's not your girlfriend either. Just because that was one time. Maybe. It was a big mistake. Some of it. Which some of it? No, all of it. I'm not going to be alone anymore. What's with the box? It's not your birthday or anything. It's a gift. Just a gift. From who? Secret admirer? Another imaginary boyfriend? Stop it! Who want you anyway? Don't touch me, Jack. Tell me what's in the box. A present. From who? From Lena. Why'd she get you a present? It's between us. Well, what'd she get you? Leave it, Jack. I want to know. I don't care what you want. You're not happy, so you can't stand to see me happy. That's it, isn't it? You're not happy. You're jealous. You're jealous of me. She asked me to... And the two of you are running off together. You can't stand to leave her alone for two minutes. Lee helps me. You need help, all right. Me? You? You're, you're so stupid. Come here. Come here, and I'll put my hands around your throat. Put my hands around your throat so tight. Here's what's in the box, Jack. Do you like it? Lena gave it to me. Oh, put the gun down. What are you gonna do, shoot? Hey. Pow. <laughs> oh my god, Bobby, did you just shoot Jack? Yes. Look at that. Nice shot, very professional. I didn't think it was loaded, Lee. Was the gun loaded? It's bad luck to give an unloaded gun. I just meant to scare him. What well, was he scared? No, he thought I was bluffing. He never was a good judge of character. Look at you with that gun in your hand. You look what? Strong, confident, courageous. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this one of the greatest rushes you've ever felt? You are never closer to anyone in the, in the moments that are most dangerous. Don't you agree? We're as close right now as two people can never be. 
God, Bobby, I want you more than anything right now. Want it? I can't. But, no. He's not going anywhere. I can't. Maybe now I'm not. Now is not the best time. But I love you. Wow. <laughs> that sounds weird, but I do. I really do. I love you so much. I'll help you. Trust me. I'm good at this sort of thing. You do trust me. You're my best friend. Well, we need a plan. Come here and sit down. But don't walk through the blood. Be careful, though. All right. A plan. We have to move the body. It would be best if we could get rid of it entirely, but not so well that it looks like we did it. No. In case it's found, we need a cover story about his death. A believable one. How about uh, gambling? Gambling and drinking. There you go. He's been seen around the casino plenty and he doesn't have a job. That's a good one. And all we've got to do is get his body to the river, file a missing person's report tomorrow. There. There you go. There's our story. <laughs> now you'll have to practice it. But we can do all that later. For now, let's figure out how to get the body out of here. We'll need some garbage bags and some rope. And, and I'll have some bricks. Go on, get the bags. We need the big green ones, but not those little white kitchen bags. Jack? Yeah. I don't feel so good. That's well, Jack. You're not feeling very well. That too. <laughs> well, this should fix that. What are you doing? Just a precaution. Make sure he's dead. Isn't he dead? He will be. He's moving. That'll stop soon. Oh my god, you'll kill him! That was the point! He has to be dead before we can hide the body! <laughs> Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Oh, oh you're gonna be alright! Don't get a soap up. I am so sorry, Jack! Can you go to the hospital, please? Yes, yes, oh my god, we've got to get him to the hospital! I'll call 911. Sure you want me to call? This is your last chance! Of course I want you to call! You're just too good to a body. We're calling for Jack. See, I'll still help you. I still care. I want you to know that. Scene four, living room one week later. Barbara enters through the outside door. She carries an urn and crosses to the couch. She sets the urn on the coffee table and stares at it. Lena enters. Oh, that was a nice service. <laughs> I'm glad you agree with me and chose cremation. It's much more environmentally conscious. All those dead people clogging up the ground, rotting flesh. <laughs> Not too many people at the service. I have met Jack's wife before. She seemed very nice. <laughs> I did a good job with the police, didn't I? She was stellar. With talent like that, maybe I should head out to New York or LA or something. Oh, I love handling people like that. <laughs> That's what it is, it's all handling. The police chief, he was typical. He just eats it with a spoon. So I know how to feed it to him. I was great. You were great, too. The way you had that sad, grieved sister. <laughs> it was brilliant. God, we're a good team. So, um, what are you going to do with that thing? What? What are you going to do with this? Put in that. <laughs> it, Bobby. It's an it. It's an urn, and inside is a bunch of dust. It was an excellent choice. Hides a lot. But you shouldn't tug on it or it might end up on the floor along with the remains of your brother all over the place. It, it might hurt the resale value of the house. I've been thinking about it. So, uh, where do you want to dump it? It's best to get it out of the way. Move straight ahead, finish, get rid of the body. I, I'm not sure. I think I want to wait. Well, there's always the toilet. Burial, let's see. <laughs> I had a goldfish once, and that's how it all ended. <laughs> that's a joke. I'm joking. You need to laugh a little. Lighten up. Where's the bright colors? Don't want you turning into one of those little Greek ladies on me. Hey, here's a letter from you, from your school. Want to take a look at it? Not now. Well, I want to see what it is. Does the school start soon? 
Look at that. Sorry to lay more bad news on you, but uh, it looks like you're fired. <laughs> Guess the homicide was a little bit much for them. Even if the grand jury did rule it as an accident, <laughs> thanks to me. <laughs> Wasn't I great? Why the killer being up there? Asked so many questions on the news. That was fantastic. This might be my true calling. What a rush. Now I know why my father loved the law. My father was a lawyer, you know. Well, anyway, I'm so glad I got you, Bobby. And you're lucky you got me. Together, we're practically unstoppable. You've got something for me. Stability. I've always wanted that. Some stability, peace of mind. Once we sell the house, it will be beautiful. We'll have money. I can show you Europe, especially Greece. You'll love Greece. We can meet some Greek men. We can tease them and make them spend their money on us. <laughs> It'll be just the grandest thing. I guess you're just what I needed, Bobby. Hey, what are you doing? Come down here so we can decide what to do with Jack. <laughs> Big old pile of Jack. <laughs> Hello, Jack. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> You're looking a little parched. <laughs> poor Jack. Poor, poor Jack. Selena speaks into the air, and Barbara comes down the stairs carrying a packed duffel in one hand and a gun in the other, <laughs> stiffly kept at her side. I found a poem, a good one. Oh, uh, what were you doing up there? It's called The Awakening. I awaken, naked, exposed. Like a maggot in a festering corpse, unable to breathe. The light blinks my blinking eye to find a reflection, a face not my own. Her eyes hazel brown, longing to see. Your fingerprints remain. It's actually from a longer work, but you can oh, see Oh, we've got plans to make. I, Lee, I've got something to say. I've been waiting a long time for this, and I'm not very good at waiting. Lee, turn around. Damn it! Why do they make these things so hard to screw on? Lee. I'm having some trouble with the urn. Lee. My God, Barbara, not really a good shot, are you? Just get out. Here's some of your things. I'll send the rest later. Barbara, Bobby, Bob, what are you talking about? I live here. I live with you. I want to live with you. Get out. Have I done something? Have, have I done something to upset you? Look, look at all I've done for you. All you've done for me? I've saved you from jail. I found you a great lawyer. I'm going to show you Europe. I love you. No. Bobby, I have helped you. I care about you. I saved you. You killed Jack. No. You killed Jack. You loaded the gun. You gave it to me. You taught me to shoot it. I taught the teacher. Get. Now give me my gun before you hurt yourself. Get out of my house. Is this pent up rage all because you slept with your brother? Shut up, Lee. Sure was a fun night, one for the record books. I still feel the same about you. We're family. Now give me back my gun. How many people have you managed to kill? Let's see. Jack. Jack is not on your belt, honey. And the mother guy? And your heroin addict? I did not kill Gwen. She put that stuff in her arm her own damn self. And at least one former husband. That was his business. I'm not interested in a body count. How many? I don't know. How many? 12, 15, who's counting? <laughs> what am I, 13, 16? You got a spot all picked out. Bobby, it's not like that with you and me. Not like what? It's not like a game. I'm not playing a game with you. With you, it's for real. It's for keeps? Get out of my house. I think I need a little rest. It's been a long afternoon. Get up, Lee. Or what? You'll shoot me? <laughs> You're gonna have to do a lot better than that. I'm worried that you might accidentally actually hit me accidentally. Lena picks up the urn and flings it at Barbara. Dust flies everywhere. Barbara ducks. Lena tackles Barbara. The two women brawl in the dust that is covering the floor. Barbara gets hold of Lena's hair, savagely forcing her to the ground. Barbara has the advantage and puts the gun alongside Lena's temple. I don't think I missed this time. I don't think you'll shoot this time. Maybe. Well, you look pretty serious with that gun in your hand. It's very sexy. Especially with all that jack dust all over you. <laughs> I under underestimated you. <laughs> God, Barbara, everyone underestimates you, don't they? People underestimate me, too, for the same one like that. I won't underestimate you again. 
just for the record, if we're still counting, I never killed anybody except the mother guy, and, and that was an accident. Just like you, just like Jack. Say something, Bobby. Tell me you didn't mean it. Tell me not to go. We were as close as two people can ever be. We're like sisters. Fine. You wanted this to fail too bad. You can sit in your sad little house and live your sad little life. You just can't help some people. Too bad, because you're smart. You're a smart woman. You're not bad looking, especially with a gun in your hand. I taught you that. Yes, I did. Careful when you head out in the world alone. You never know who might be behind you. It's still hot. Don't leave me. Mean it? I don't know who I am anymore. Give me my gun. Promise? You want me to beg? Please. Pretty please, with sugar on top. Barbara pulls the vacuum cleaner from the closet, proceeds to plug it in. As she does, Lena crosses to the urn, picks it up off the floor, and goes to the couch. Barbara stands most motionless, ready with the vacuum cleaner, and watches Lena as she speaks. No sense getting all upset over this, these little things. Besides, this could be interesting. Don't you agree? Barbara responds by clicking on the power of the vacuum cleaner and begins to vacuum up Jack. The lights fade down in place. Thank you very much for coming. Um, and uh, this was one of three plays. Uh, we very much like your comments. Uh, and so that we can let the play right now. And also so that we can help decide which play of the three is the best. So please email us with your comments to apes at gorillatheater.org or visit our website at www.gorillatheater.org. And tomorrow night we'll be reading uh, BYOB by Tom Lavagino, and that'll be at Starbucks at Barnes & Noble on the plaza. And then Thursday night at the 45th Street Coffee House here on State Line, uh, we'll be reading The Ritual by David Hansen. And then if you'd like to see last year's winner in a uh, full production, it'll be at the 8th House this Friday and Saturday night at uh, 517 East 18th Street. Uh, it's free to the public, and that will be at 8 o'clock. The readings are at 7, and Death as Usual by Brennan O'Neill will be at 8 o'clock this Friday and Saturday. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, we do very much like your comments, and your donations are most welcome. Thank you.
can point out, I need to see that again. Okay, let me step outside and play. Let me see that. 